Look for us here. Are you looking at me today, huh? You have to bring your babies here. Oh, uh, sometimes. sometimes. It's hard to manage. I bet, though. Yeah. And um, sometimes they bark and are like that one on one. Right. Right. And if you have fleas, you're freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, great. Yeah. I'm bringing them home now. <laughs> And I have. Really? Are you upset already? Oh, oh he's burping. You're bur okay. <laughs> Mom is a bur burp's fine with me. Yeah, yeah. He burps. Your feet are so good. Well, he's, he's laying down, so. That's just you that she's putting in that bag. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, yeah. bud. Any incidents or anything? Any biting or anything? No, no. Okay. I, 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 he's a totally different personality with that. If you have a peanut butter call or anything, he's just a lot better. Should you get you a mobile ride out there? I don't think so. Oh, I thought you got you a van to do your business out there. I have a van. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. okay. But it's not out there today. Oh, okay. Well, we saw that white one. We didn't know. Oh, that that's was... my Sprinter little. That's not a Sprinter. It's a uh, cargo van, though. No. That's mine. That is my car. <laughs> but I did get. I actually have a van, a, a trailer. Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay. that's what drew me. Yeah. That van's little. I love it, man. Should have got a van a long time ago. <laughs> have you had it last yet? Huh? Shoot, no. <coughs> Super expensive. Are they? More expensive than wrapping a 17-foot trailer. And I was like, oh, gosh, you got to be kidding me. Man. So, it's in my mind. <laughs> I got some prices, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready to do it yet. We're talking a few thousand. Probably almost as much as a paint job, really. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A few years ago, it was uh, more, uh, less, less. I don't know what happened, but Cut same up. company, and I was vomited. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, I need to take you my van. It's not a big van. Probably popular. It's like, not that big. Popularity, probably. <laughs> really? Yeah, if it's done right, it's probably ten thousand for you know something like custom like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Good boy. Here you go. I'm gonna be working around you here. Okay. You can rest a little bit. He's a lot calmer than he has yeah. been. He is. He's very good. So don't strain yourself. Okay. <laughs> Straining yourself is going to wear yourself out. <laughs> I'm wondering, do you need to sit down, though? No, I'm fine. Oh, it, uh, are you sure? Yeah. Because we make something work. Yeah. I'll let you know if it gets too bad. I'd have to get him a tall chair. <laughs> come in more regularly now to avoid the matting. Right. Each time you come in, do you want to always have the complete shave down done? Uh, you know? Well, I think... Because I feel like the body here was not too bad yet. Right. 
I know. But uh, tell me, tell me what your thoughts. With are. summertime coming, that's when he really. Well, he's dirty, and we you, cannot bathe him. Okay, so this really helps him keep clean. Well, or? So if we bring him, and I know this is whatever uh, for us, but if we can bring him every month. Or more than a half at the uh, most, you know. Yeah, uh, no, uh, okay. And have him gray bathe, okay. then he's gonna feel better. And have him what? Bathe and clip. So la didn't we skip bathing last time? No, I so think we got a bath uh -huh. last time, but time before uh -huh. we did. Okay, okay. Didn't we, Aaron? One, yes. So we skipped something, something one yeah, time, and yeah, I thought we've yeah, got it. You yeah. know, so last time we did get it. Yeah, I it, made it, you get a bath in, but we, he was real drippy right, wet when you left. Right, right, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Something was like, because yeah. I feel like you. It well, takes he, it he was starting to get a little antsy, and it was the day you were sitting in the refrigerator or something, and, uh -huh. and, you're and like, okay. you were tied up oh, yeah, and all yeah, that, yeah. it was going to be a while, and so I just decided it'd be better to go ahead and get him out of that environment. He's doing good. He's doing good. He's doing good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Yeah. Passing out on me? Are you passing out on me now? Well, I'd rather have that. He was actually right. sleeping when we had to wake him up. Yeah, I had to wake him up to come. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, go back to sleep. <laughs> Alright, um, let me okay. see where we're at on this okay. side if you want to shuffle around. Alright, hold still. Hold still, baby. Just hold wait, on. just wait. Hold on. Okay. And what I may do is have him, let's go up now. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up
You're good. He wants to lay down. <laughs> it's okay, you can let him. If he wants to lay down, we'll let him lay down. I'll have to go ahead and get his leg and all that. You did his chin, right? His chin? Oh, you did his neck. Chin. I mean, I mean, so yeah. Boy, remember when he would attack right here? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he wouldn't like that. Remember that? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him, but let me tell you, I couldn't be up in his front right here at all. That would be a no no. Dad, and you rest. Yeah. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right, we're going to do the ears and stuff, Dalton. Okay. Can you get to it for me? Yep, yep, good. Okay. Good. You come back to the feet last one more time. Okay. You talked about this last time, anyway. This helps. Right. If this is like two months of grow out, man. Right? The ear is yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it, it, uh, I, I yeah. guarantee you it's not over two months, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I gotta look, to be honest, but. That's why I was thinking, you know, once a month. And do both of them Man, this really helps ears. Look how hairy they get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Copper spaniel. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm hmm. Extremely hairy. Are you okay like that? I'm fine if you are. Okay. You sure you don't want to maneuver something in the... I mean, we're going to be hanging out more often. <laughs> Would you prefer... it? Tell me the truth. Would you prefer to sit down too? No, Would yes, that no, help you? No, I'm fine. you got to be honest with me. I am. I am, but I, but I want to feel like I... know you're a man I, and all. I want to feel like I can do what I need to do if I need to do it. And, uh -huh. and I, Sitting down, you might not feel that way? I've been a carpenter all my life. You, you can't build anything <laughs> sitting down. No, you can't. Well, not all my life. There were six years that I wasn't. But <laughs> <laughs> six years that you weren't. Yeah, when I started. <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to go home, Harry. That's right. I expected it. That's why I didn't put on a fresh shirt. Oh, I've got a client, him and his wife come in, he has to hold his shih tzu. She's mean or mean, me, me, me. And he always comes in nicely dressed. And I, I'm, that's not me at all, but he ironed up everything. Always put a nice sweater and everything. Clyde, you know I'm talking about you. Boy, he'll come up all dazzled up. 
when he going to the Emmy Awards. <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, Clyde, you're going to have to go home and shower either way. <laughs> right. Now, honestly, here, come, uh, see if he wants to go all the way down here. If, if you want to go all the way down, go ahead. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. You can do that. And that way, Dad can kind of just calmly okay. assist on the, the help there. Okay, don't be mad here. I'm watch it. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. He, he didn't do anything he shouldn't have. He thought about it, probably, but... Yeah, he was just checking it out. Oh, let me see here, Dad. You're just checking me out, right? Mm -hmm. Just checking that wire out. Take a look. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I'll take over here. I got it. Okay. I got it. Okay. Yeah. That's looking nice right there. Good job. Okay. before we go to the feet. <clears throat> You're not wearing your glasses. What'd you do? Would you went and get LASIK? Uh, <laughs> no. Where's your glasses? I, I, I just didn't want to go to trouble with wearing them today. Sweating and wearing them sweating, and all that crap? Sweating and the dog hair and all that <laughs> stuff. And I thought, man, he got LASIK and didn't yeah. tell me about it? No, no. <laughs> no, we did the cataract thing, of, what, honey, 15 years ago or better? Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. No, you didn't? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Both y'all? Uh -huh. What do you mean, we? Well, I had it yeah, mine first. about 10 years. One eye or both? Mine's both. Yeah, both of you uh, She oh, had, she oh, was a yeah. candidate for glaucoma until, and had to take all these drops and all kinds of stuff until she had her cataract surgery. And when they got through, I she didn't have to do the drops anymore. Wow. So it was a real blessing, you know. Did you all have insurance to cover it, or how did that work? No, we had to pay for it out of our pocket. Okay. We self employed all our married life about. Okay. Okay. Well, she worked for Albertsons, yeah. but. But I was. Okay. And, and, no, you did have insurance, didn't you? No. Uh, well, it was at Allison's, let's see. You I had was, health insurance, but I don't, I don't think it carried, it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't cover something uh, like no, that, those little things like that. When I had that done, we were, still, we were both self-employed. Yeah. We got paid for it out of our part. Okay. Here we go. Good. Would you, regret, you don't regret it, obviously. No. No. Money well, well spent? Well. Well, uh, I mean, it, I lost my binocular vision and all kinds of stuff because of it, you know, when it gets where you're trying to, it's like you're trying to look through a piece of clear plastic that's been yellowed uh -huh, by the sun. Uh -huh. That's what it is like yeah. now? No, that's what it was like before oh. the surgery and all of a sudden were, the sky was blue and grass was green and... I'm all, sorry, that's worth it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the rate, yeah, but doggone yeah, it. Yeah. Once you have that, sight, you know. I think it was about three grand or something. Yeah. Right? Per, uh, uh, per eye or to, per person? No, no. Per person. Well, when people get cataracts, I mean, they finally get to where they have to have them taken out. Yeah. You can't, you really? Can't you can't just keep going. Right. Right. And I think she's, she was gone back one time and he did a, uh, a procedure with a laser that mm -hmm. kind of cleared up. I don't know if it cleared it up or what, what was going on. Wow. Let me do this one too there. Okay. And
thing, I didn't have to have glasses for a long time after my really? surgery, and then, you know, that muscle started getting a bit weak again, so I <coughs> had them, and, and now, now I have to, I have tries that distance and long distance and medium distance and then up close. You know, every time we groom, we talk about something. Every time we talk, we learn something <laughs> from you guys. <laughs> every time, I'm always learning something. Okay. Uh, can Stay there. Me? Okay. Stay there. I'm going to just trim these up. Okay. You got hair flying up there? Uh-huh. It just makes it. Makes my snooter want to snoot a little bit. Now, give me an idea what you guys do for fun. What do you guys do for fun? Watch TV. Well, okay. So do you have cable or do you have yeah, internet you know, cable? What do you got going on at home? We got rid of Dish because it was $150 a month and went to Sling for 50 and glad we did. Good move or bad? Good move. Good move. You just got to get... If you, if you ever watch anything streaming, then you're used to buffering going on and all that. So you you're know, gonna have some buffering. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna have some. But we and to then much. we had to get no. We had to get. We had to, I had to get a uh, local. local antenna to get our local channels, uh, except for Channel Five. Channel Five was on Sling, but uh, but all the rest. So of Sling them, didn't have like CNBC and Channel Four, Five, and Eight. Or it's got CNBC, but not. Uh, WFAA. Yeah, your and, local and, stuff. And, yeah. Right. Okay. And so we got that. Which is free, right? And w when we got that antenna, we get like 50 channels that we didn't know were available mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on that. You know, 11.1 through right, that. Right, 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 right. All that. All kinds. Of and so we see a lot of old stuff that cool. we used to watch. And well, we got our sling. And then, then we got Netflix and uh, yeah. But you pay for Netflix, right? I have Netflix. Yeah. But uh, we got Amazon Prime, and that's in our fifty dollars. Yeah. Built into it. Okay. And you got to have Roku. If you've got just a regular TV you, or HD TV, you've got to have Roku, and that's 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 your modem that receives the signal. Okay. But since since our living room TV, it was built into it. Why? Uh, we don't have any devices in there. My mom, we uh, we got a Roku for her room because she likes to watch the country music on RFD TV. And then Raina got one for her office so she could have it on when she's in there doing her eBay. And uh, other than that, I don't know. Well, what with the program, they gave us a free, one of the Rokus was free. Yeah. We could either get a Roku or an antenna. Nice. And... Uh, so we're just real happy and yeah. satisfied. Yeah, every time every time we turn on the TV and realize we're saving a hundred dollars a month, put a smile right. puts a smile on our face. <laughs> I mean, we were with Dish fifteen years. Wow. They catch you no slack whatsoever. Just there's not there's no longevity. No, no into. loyalty bonus or anything. You know, our son got sling and told us about it, and uh, so we checked it out. And, Glad we went that way. I think it's it's thirty nine ninety five a month. There's blue and orange, and we got both of them. And then we pay five dollars a month for my mom's package that's got the uh, RFD TV on it. So forty four ninety five a okay. month compared to one hundred and forty eight dollars. Well, hold on, hold on. So you got that forty something something a month plus your Netflix is which is how much? You know, ten bucks a month. It's not on that bill, but it's like 12, oh, I'm sorry, hold on. You got to put it all together and yeah, see where so you're at, yeah. it's only don't like you? Four, yeah, but we're still. <laughs> you're still doing yeah. good, huh? Yeah, I just did. Because even if you did get cable, you still don't get Netflix either. No, yeah. you don't. Mm -hmm. but, but I mean, you're, we're saving a lot of money, even for me to have Netflix. I right, mean, do Prime Netflix. and Netflix. And then, and yeah, so, and then Prime, uh, I think that's a once a year yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So you take that, whatever it is, 150 yeah, or whatever, right. divided by 12. And you're still well, I mean, you know, she still. shops on Amazon, so, so it's I, just kind of like a little bonus okay. to, get the, to get the channel. Right. The movies and stuff. Right. Well, now what are you guys going to do with this Apple TV? 
<laughs> not, not, I probably. Because it, it costs too, so we're mm -hmm. not, not going to do that. And Disney's going to have their own thing, or already do, or something. Now, of course, see, our, our grandkids. Oh, yeah, Disney's doing its own thing yeah, now, too, isn't it? Yeah, our grandkids are getting old enough that we don't have that much to worry about. Them. TV is changing yes, really yes, quickly. So we talked a lot about TV, so that is your guys' social life? But that's no. basically it we anymore. We, we with to, Mom, I, I, I mean, so one of us tries to be there. Two with your grandkids? Yeah, but his mom's still with us. And she's right. 100. With you guys, right? And she's 102, and basically. She doesn't tell you guys what to do still? In, in the bed, no. No, she never has been anybody like Oh, that. that's good. I'm kind of joking. <laughs> she's never been that way. Now. Anyway, but we've always been homebodies. I mean, you know, we used to go do some things, but. It's just as we've gotten a little older, we just enjoy being at home and, you know. Yeah, she used to be. So I'm not going crazy that I'm not doing very much <laughs> now in my life either. That's why I said, I work a lot. Yeah. I was going to say, I thought she did because you do several different things. I work a lot, but when I'm not working, I'm not wanting to do anything. Right. <laughs> and you know what? That That's little time I've got left. Well, for 10, it's years, just resting. For 10 years, right. she was up at 4 o'clock every morning to get ready to go to work and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, that was that was basically a have to, I guess. So she's. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just, you know, so now you don't have to. You don't get right. 4 in the morning, or do if you? If I want to sleep late, I can. So, you know. If I, I was just talking earlier on my feed, I was like, if it were up to me and I was retired, I probably would be up all night and sleep all day. Mm -hmm. My my system would be messed up. You're not I'm a very it's much okay. a night out. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Head up, Daddy. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. There we I go. Last call, and then we'll go to the bath. All right. Daughter used to be, but she's not. You can check that front of the more. face without the muzzle if you want. Uh, I don't want to take it off. Okay. I, I mean, I would like to, but but I just don't want it. to take a chance. Okay, you got it. It's usually a little no. long right here on this bridge of his nose. I got something I'm going to do with him before we go. With your life? Say again? Do I have fun? fun? It's okay. Do I have fun? Do you have any fun? He's over yes, I do thing. have fun. My tr trips to Hawaii and such. Oh, good. I do still love to travel. Okay. I do usually work on my travel, though. I don't just go. I can't. I can't just. I don't know what it is. I can't not work. Hold still, Bubba. It's okay, Dad. I got it. You're all right, bud. I enjoy working. Um, a lot of people do, And... I know. Thank you guys for watching My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. This pet came to us when he was extremely aggressive. In time and dur during the grooms and the amount of grooms that we had, he's really come a long way. They've been coming to me since December 2018. It is now January 2020. I am so grateful to be able to do a shave down on this Cocker Spaniel who has been known to bite the family members since he was nine years old. Almost his entire life, he's been biting people. We did a video together where the mom tells us about all of her wounds on her body. The bite marks when she didn't go to the emergency room, the bite marks when she did. She is the reason why I take bites, aggressive dog grooming, very seriously. The example of me booking a new client and telling them about an aggressive dog comes from her knowledge that she's given to me by owning an aggressive dog. You maybe have heard yourself when I ask a few questions, and I love to ask questions because then we don't get the answers, we'll never know. Like a dictionary, you should wanna know certain things, but it's on you, everyone's different. I love to ask questions. Did you hear the dad and the mom say, they never get to bathe him at home? They can't touch his ears. They can't do what a normal pet client can do with their own dog because he is an aggressive dog. And they have had the patience of owning him his entire life. We'll never know exactly why he became aggressive. We can only speculate.
But at some point, almost a couple years ago, they found me. And it gave them an alternative to sedate a groom. In my opinion, if you're going to sedate groom over and over and over, I believe it has an impact on the lifespan of your animal. Not only that, but I but when I worked with veterinarians, alongside veterinarians, helping them shave cats, shave dogs under sedation, I can tell you it is very much just like a surgery. They come out of it, they're wore out, they're tired. Cats really hate it. They're, you know, disturbed unhappy. You may not know because maybe you never did it before or maybe you just heard about it but if you've worked at a veterinarian's clinic you go through a lot more than a regular groomer has gone through. You see things that the veterinarian sees. You help dogs through things that only a veterinarian can assist with. So working for a veterinarian is pretty amazing. I recommend each groomer out there do that. Go work or volunteer with your veterinarian and see the things that happens to dogs when they're under anesthesia, why they need to be under anesthesia, and the effects of anesthesia on every animal that you guys see. You'll never know unless you've also done, done it. So we're grooming now. They just booked the entire year, every month. I gave them a really good deal. As senior citizens, I understand what they might be going through. The income's different than a regular hard worker, not a hard worker, a regular full-time worker. And plus you can see, I mean, they love their pet and it's a priority to them. They didn't just come once like some folks do. She said, Didi, uh, we're looking at the dates and stuff. And I actually brought it up to see if we can come in less. And she said, no, I want to come in more this year. And I said, okay, well, let me sit down with you and let's do some numbers because I want to, I don't know about you, but I can see a big business not sitting me down and saying, hey, if you do this, I'll break it down for you this low. Never. That's the difference between a small business and a big business. That's the breaking point of a small business and a big business. That's how a small business loses money compared to a big business. There's corporate rules that, that big businesses have that they wouldn't do that. They have to stay in business. But I'm willing to do certain things. If I can help somebody out, I will. If they want to break it down to come in once a month, I offered them a special. I feel like it's real fair. Aggressive dog grooming isn't easy. If you're going to try this at home, be very careful with what you're doing. I don't recommend it without training, without the proper tools. If you don't know what you're looking for, then you will get bit. And that bite could cause injury that could last your lifetime. So thank you for watching. Thanks for, thanks for watching this groom as we start to see him come every month. And compare his first groom to this one and you'll see huge difference. If, you're, if you groom a dog that's aggressive and you have no pain, no mats, you can start seeing some great headway. So make sure you tell your clients, don't come in with mats. Don't come in every six months, every 10 months when they're at their worst shape. Because then it just buys you time into getting upset with the dog. The dog getting upset. They don't like the mats. It is painful in my opinion. You'll never know because you can never ask a dog. But we can watch the dog react to shaving mats off, let alone brushing the mats off. Not every dog's going to react. Some dogs just do nothing, right? They're so soft-spoken, they do nothing. But those dogs that do react, they are loud and clear when they're telling us it's definitely painful. So if you've learned something, make sure you support us. You can support us by shopping at myfavoritegroomer.com. You can also shop at dogupstand.com. Thank you so much for being here. You really mean a lot to me. Make sure you share this video, smash the like button, and don't forget to make sure you're subscribed so you get notifications on when we go live. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for being a part of My Favorite Groomer. See you later.